everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and today guys we are going to make a doll that I want to make already for a very long time literally since the beginning of this channel well I know I probably start half of my videos saying things like this but in reality I have a very long list of doll ideas of all kinds of doll concepts and from time to time I jump to the very beginning of this list to the ideas that I have in my head uh, literally since the very beginning of this channel since the very beginning of my doll artist career and the doll that we will make today is one of them them. Because today, guys, we are going to make the goddess Venus, and not just whatever goddess Venus, but we will make this goddess Venus from the Botticelli's painting, The Birth of Venus, a beautiful piece of art. I really love uh, how Botticelli depicted Venus in this painting. So I really want to try to recreate this beautiful masterpiece. And yes, guys, I had to blur <laughs> Venus' body because YouTube uh, policies regarding showing human body are a little bit ridiculous in my opinion for example lately I have learned that people who make tarot videos here on YouTube they have to blur or put some stickers or just black out with sharpies uh, all human body parts on tarot cards and I'm talking about like classic tarot cards because their videos uh, being demonetized instantly or sometimes even blocked with a strike for a channel because you know they consider it nudity I don't know I think this is kind of art <laughs> but no we live in 21st century and you know what Botticelli could paint in the 15th century I cannot show to you in the 21st I don't know maybe I would not be blocked for this but if people getting demonetized and blocked for showing uh, tarot cards <laughs> like I will not take this risk you know this is how I earn my money this is how I pay my bills I cannot play with YouTube policies and cannot play with the risk of being demonetized so this is it, this is what we're making today, let's start this project, it will be really fun. Of course guys, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. I upload new doll projects on Friday, sometimes every week Friday, sometimes every second week Friday, depends on how big the project is, how many details I have to make and dry and you know, wait till they're completely finished. So, please, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like, hit everything, and I will start working. Let's go, guys! I've decided to use this Frankie doll for my future Venus. I think your beautiful face will work perfectly in this project. This is actually one of my favorite Monster High faces to work on. So, my Venus must be very, very, very pretty. So, let's quickly prepare this doll for a makeover, let's undress her, let's get rid of her hair, and then I will remove her face with pure acetone.
good everything is gone and now i want to give her beautiful ginger hair this color is probably a little bit more intense than venus has on botticelli's painting but i really love this color i've bought this hair already probably more than twice if not five times i have purchased this hair color i think it's very pretty so I've painted her head with a couple of layers of brown acrylics and now we'll reroute her hair using my self-made rerouting tool. This is it, this is her new hair a couple of hours later, I'm having a rerouting marathon here this weekend, giving new hair to a bunch of new dolls, so this is how my Venus hair looks after all, I think it's pretty, so now I can add glue inside of the head and then I will let it dry for a couple of days, I don't know, now it's cold and wet in the winter, so it takes for sure 3, 4, maybe even 5 days for the glue to dry completely. Then in a couple of days I can seal her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I can start drawing and painting. In the beginning I will turn her green skin tone into a light nude natural color and the easiest way to do it is through applying a layer of red pastels on top of the green to neutralize the green and then proceeding with regular light nude colors. And I'm using soft pastels from the brand Pan Pastels. Not sponsored, unfortunately. <laughs> So my Venus will have a very fresh and very natural face, she should look, you know, like a beautiful young girl who was just brought into this world, so no heavy makeup, just natural colors today, fresh and natural.
Okay, this is her finished face. Now let's quickly change the color of her body and then we'll make that giant seashell she's been standing in on that painting. use an epoxy scalp to make the seashell and I brought this salad bowl to sculpt the shell around of it. The bottom of it is flat so it's perfect for me, it will make my seashell more stable. Yeah, I think it will really work here so let's start and I begin with sculpting the basic shell shape and I let it cure for 24 hours. And let's talk by the way about the prices for epoxy sculpt. I've bought it less than a year ago the last time and it cost 65 euro for these two pots and now I've bought them again and they cost already 85 euro really guys making dolls is getting more and more expensive like really between 65 and 85 euro is kind of big difference so it's a very expensive material nowadays <laughs> So this is how it looks so far, I think it's a nice base, so now I can continue sculpting the shell around of it, making it more structured and kind of seashell looking on the outside and more smooth on the inside. So this is what I've made, it looks really good to me, so now let's paint it all.
The inside of the shell I want to make very pearl scent, so I'm applying a layer of this blue iridescent paint on top of it. I think my seashell looks simply fantastic. I absolutely love it, both inside and outside. Really super pretty. My first handmade seashell. That was really fun. Now I want to work on her outfit and you would probably tell me that Venus wears literally nothing on the painting. And I will have to reply to you that my channel will be demonetized if I do something like this. YouTube has very strict policies, so we will have to put some dress on my doll and if you look at the painting you will see that there is like a lower range goddess is hurrying up to throw some pink red cover over her body to cover up her nudity and this is exactly what my doll will wear so I will take this piece of natural silk I will stretch it and I will paint it first pinkish red and then I will add some black floral motifs to it because this is what the original fabric from the painting looks like there are some I don't know some floral motifs on it and I will use special paint for silk to do this job The next day I can remove the fabric from the stretching construction, check it out, this is how it looks. I've already turned in the sides and I want to paint the sides gold to add an extra accent. I just need to wrap my doll into this fabric. I'm using pieces of double side tape to fix the fabric on her body because it should look very kind of naturally wrapped around her. Yeah, something like this will look good, I really like it, but guys, I've just realized that we have a little problem here, because my doll will require a doll stand to be able to stand up in the middle of the shell, and this ugly bottom of this display holder is ruining literally everything, I absolutely hate it, really. So I think I will drill a hole in the middle of the seashell, and I will glue this stick from the display holder inside of the seashell. I should have done it, of course, before painting, but you know, I didn't even think about this detail at all, so I will have to be careful. worked out absolutely beautifully, no damage was made, I don't know, now it looks absolutely ideal, now I'm happy about it, yes, now it looks really good, I'm happy I added this extra step because this bottom of this display holder was absolutely terrible. 
So now it's time to style her hair and I will give her long curls, of course, nothing really special, nothing new today. So this is it, this is the finished hairstyle, very beautiful, very romantic, I absolutely love it. So now I just need to attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished Venus doll and I think that she really looks like an embodiment of youth and freshness. This is probably one of the most fresh looking dolls I've ever made on this channel, really. She's a real goddess of beauty and love, such a beautiful young girl. The outfit solution worked, I think. It's of course absolutely ridiculous that we have to do things like this in the 21st century, but it is what it is. It's not me who sets the rules. I have to follow, but anyway, this is all ridiculous. Uh, the seashell looks amazing. I had a lot of fun working on it, both sculpting and painting, really. It was a fun part of this project. And I'm very happy that I went for this solution and that I installed the display holder inside of the seashell. Yes, I really think that it was quite a game-changing decision. Now you can barely see the plastic thing installed there, so everything is very seamless, beautiful, I'm very happy. So guys, now I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. Please let me know what you think about the project in the comments under this video. And if you want to buy this doll, you can find her on eBay for three days. The link is in the description box under this video, like always. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please, guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon in my next video in two weeks on Friday. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.